Okay. Amma, the next question is, what is the best way to completely accept the suffering of our loved ones and accept all what happens in life as the will of God so that one may realize the self. Gratitude always. When the loved one suffers, we suffer with them. Mahatmas, you take Mahatma who have become one with God. They are extremely sensitive to suffering. They don't just sit like a witness and watch the suffering people and allow them to suffer. You understand? That if you don't exercise witness consciousness when suffering of the loved ones or unloved ones is concerned. Because a Mahatma who has become one with God, he suffers even more intensely. Vallala sings, Vadiye Payere Kandapodella Vadini. So there is a an instant identification with everything in the cosmos, because they are the cosmos. So their suffering will be intense. So when a loved one suffers, you suffer with them. But even when you suffer, you understand the wisdom is there, that even this is given by God, and God is your well-wisher. He would not give it to you unless there is some reason behind it. And anything that comes from God can only be a blessing because He's our well wisher. He is God. He has no motive at all. He doesn't need anything from you. He's completely independent. So whatever comes from Him can only be a blessing. How do you know it's a blessing? If you, you have to have the full view of evolution, then some of the sufferings that you have given to somebody, you have to go through yourself. So when you go through them, you think, oh, I have given this suffering to somebody, so I am suffering. And then you will be so much afraid that you will not give that suffering to anyone else. When some people come and throw abuse at you, and in the most unexpected moment, the most vulnerable moment, if you have the right wisdom with you, then you would know instantly it is being returned to you. What you gave sometime back in your previous birth is being returned to you. And you have to accept it as a blessing because it uh, settles the account for one thing, your past score is being settled, it's getting even, and it is coming from God. Anything that comes from God carries a blessing, blessing for your progress. This is faith. This faith works because it is based upon truth. Whatever comes from God can only be a blessing. So a loved one is suffering, probably the loved one has to drop his body, his karma is going to be over. His karma is going to be over or his karma is getting settled. But at the same time, this suffering would benefit the Atma within. The soul would definitely draw some benefit from this experience that you cannot know from outside. So there is something in all this. There is a calculation. Bhagavan often used the word calculation. He would say, oh, the calculation is right. Oh, the calculation went wrong. So there is a divine calculation in arranging all this. So it is, for, it is not for us to go into the calculations themselves, but understand that it is coming from God. Because everything happens only by God's will. And you must be very, very sure that God is your well-wisher. So whatever life brings to you, be it a joy or sorrow, it is coming 
from God and be very determined that it is a blessing. So you have to tell the loved one, I know how much you are suffering, but it's God given. So you just bear with it, you chant his name, there will be relief. You chant his name and I am praying for you. So our job is to rush to help them as much as we can and chant the name for their sake, pray for their sake. That's all you can do when a loved one is suffering. And that you must. And the soul within that suffering form will benefit from that experience. If you ask me how, I cannot give you examples, but there are examples. Now there is no time. But be very sure, every experience that comes to us in life is God-given and it will benefit us in some way or the other. So Bhagwan said, everything is progressing. Everything is a gain, everything is auspicious, everything is progress. Never think that it is not progress, it's a setback. If you think setback, you know, your mind will get upset and then it will become a setback. Because you thought so, not otherwise. So never give in to negative feeling about anything. That's why Bhagavan said, the closer you are to God, the higher will be your interpretation upon any happening. So when a loved one is suffering, you are able to think of God more intensely you are making the other person, the suffering person also, think of God intensely. So there is so much of godliness there, so much of God consciousness there. And that is the greatest benefit. 